it's very windy, but it doesn't matter because it's one of the city's biggest music festivals now in its fifth consecutive year. Over 300 bands, musicians, artists and performers taking over the Baltic Triangle for three full days of amazing live music. Yes, what are we talking about? Threshold Festival, of course, one of the city's biggest music festivals. And guess what? We have to get in on the action too. Jay and Ellie with the guide bringing you a 60-minute Threshold Special on Bay TV Liverpool. Should we do it? Let's do it. So we are on Threshold Festival is finally here. The guide are bringing you a 60 minute special from the festival. I feel a bit like Jeremy Paxman now because we've got like a good panel. Such a big panel yeah. as well. <laughs> Let's go around the panel. These are the guys that are responsible for this amazing festival. Let's start with yourself. What's your name and what's your type? Um, I'm Jasmine Sinclair and I'm um, coordinating the visual arts for the visual festival. Visual arts, brilliant. Yeah. I'm Frankie Phoenix. I am the performance coordinator for the festival. Performance? See, I couldn't tell Frankie, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you look like amazing. To you look amazing. <laughs> what about yourself? Uh, I'm Andy Minnis. I'm operations director, and I've also helped Jasmine with the visual arts this year. So. Brill. And we've got the boss. <laughs> the boss. We know, Chris. <laughs> Chris Carney. She's Hello. not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what about you? Lastly. Oh, uh, I'm Amelia Erickson and I'm the, um, well, I have so many titles. Brand Ambassador being the main one, which essentially is Head of Hosting, but my favourite title is Sunshine Chief. Sunshine, we like that. Amazing. We like that. Please get names like that. That's <laughs> really cool. <laughs> That's really good. Chris, let's start with, start with you and just talk briefly about the history of, of this festival. This is the fifth year now. Yes. Um, tell us about how it all began. Um, it was, yeah, back in 2011, we were approached by a very nice Icelandic man who's a good friend of ours, um, who asked us to fill a building, uh, a very large building, uh, asked us what we would do, and we said we'd put on a festival. Um, and we did it uh, in like, we put it together about four months' time, like, so it, it, was, it was crazy. Um, and gradually over the years we've become independent, we've, uh, we've spread out into the Baltic and started to inv involve a lot more. But we've always been multi-artists, what this is about, you know, it's music and it's lots of other things. But, um, so as we've progressed, we've got to our fifth year and obviously now it's, um, it's, 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 it's a very much, a, very much a, a part of ever, all of our lives. It, it takes all of our year, yeah. so it's, it's a 12 month thing. Yeah. And you mentioned that this year in particular earlier, that you want those other elements not just the music to really come up. So tell us a bit about those other, other, other elements. Well, I think um, the important bit is, um, is bringing on people who are passionate and can do those things as well. Um, like Andy Minnis' background is, um, is visual arts as well, so he works with Jasmine to, to, to really up the sort of standards of those things. Um, Frankie's got a great, amazing performance um, network in Liverpool that we can tap into. And it's about working with people who, who have that amazing drive behind yeah. it. Yeah. Let's talk about that, about them individually because so what is involved exactly Frankie in terms of the performing arts on the festival There's a big bill now. There's Give us some bill. of the highlights that, um, that are there. Well the highlights I think this year uh, we've got um, Miss Mimi Amore who is um, a good, good friend of mine and a, an award-winning burlesque performer now. Wow. Uh, Lucy Hudson who's come all the way up from London. Um, she's, uh, she's quite an outspoken, uh, she creates live arts which um, I'm really excited to see her show tonight. <laughs> um, who else do we have? We have the Inca Collective, who have brought some uh, Buffon clowning uh, to the show. Um, it's quite a range. Just really quickly, the music is obviously a big thing, yeah. big performances. How do you put that lineup together? Um, well, we have a submission process. Um, we, this year we had about 1,800 submissions in total. How many acts have you got all together, Chris? Uh, there's 200. Um, 250? 250, yes. Yeah, um, throughout the weekend. And um, so after the submission process, we also saw some acts uh, that we book in. Um, and when, when we sort of got who we want and we got them in this sort of like spreadsheet, mm -hmm. then the entire team decides, the entire team goes, we like this, we like this, and that's how the selection process is a very fair way of working. Um, and then asked after that, then Kaya takes that, and then she goes, right, this is where it's all going to go. And she creates this amazing flowing festival. Yeah. 
which is all in here. And that is what you guys are going to see over the next 60 minutes. Guys, we'll let you go and do some running round. <laughs> we'll take too much of your time. Thank you all for chatting, OK? Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And we're going to bring everyone on the guide. Um, everything that happens here at Threshold Festival. I'm going to kick things off now with some live music, I think. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so our first interview is on a threshold festival. You've just performed. Uh, Alan and Nelly is on the guide. How was that? Amazing. Yeah, it was posh, you know? It was, like, it was. You enjoyed it. And this is, your, this is your first time at threshold, is it? You were here last year. Second time. Which is crazy because you're so young. <laughs> when did you start getting into music and things like that? It was a long time ago. Like, I went from dancing and then started acting and stuff. But then music became a big part. Like, um, three years ago, I started gigging. Yeah. But it also starts with the Threshold Festival. Like I came to see Sandy Tom play with the Hummingbirds in 2012, I think. Yeah. So I came to see them, and then it all started like all for a flight for this year, definitely. So and is that what you did? You applied for Threshold, and that's and they they see you thought we've got to get this girl on. Is that how it works? Well, I'm hoping so. I've been And you mentioned Sandy Tom because she's a big influence on you, isn't she? But you don't only do covers, which are amazing, but you write your own stuff as well, don't you? Yeah. What's that like for you, write, write your own material? Where do you get your inspiration from? With my own stuff, I have to write for things that actually mean something, because I've written like, songs that don't mean anything to you. So like, I write for like, past experience, so people are know past experience, so yeah. a little personal. So you do the writing, and then obviously we've seen you perform today, and you are not a stranger to the performance side of things. You, you even supported uh, the Hummingbirds, you had them on the show last week. Uh, last year at the O2 Academy, didn't you? What was that like? They're amazing. It was proper mad because I've always looked up to them, like, they're my favourite band ever. And, like, playing with them was, like, a proper honour just to be around them. Yeah. Because they just, like, they treated me the kind of, like, family kind of yeah. thing. And, like, probably it was amazing. Like, twice I've done it. It was amazing. So you talked about uh, things that you've done in the past. What have you got coming up after Threshold Festival? What's, what's 
2015 got in store for you? Um, well, I'm hopefully going to Bulgaria to play a festival. Wow. wow. I know. Um, May time, I think we'll in June, summer, hot time. Yeah. So we've got a town while I'm there. Nice. Um, nice. We're sorted. Girl, my own home. <laughs> it's not nice being like pale. <laughs> New EP is coming out as well, you work on that at the moment. Yeah. Where can we find out more of your music? Um, you can find my music on um, SoundCloud, YouTube, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, Bandcamp, www.ellenandelly.bandcamp.com. Check that out. So it is a special on the guide with Jay and Ellie. We are taking over Threshold Festival and it's amazing. We're loving it so far. What we are having so, so much fun. We're going everywhere, all over the Baltic Quarter. In fact, Miss Tyne, where, where should we go next? I don't know. So look much to look at the from. options. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go there. Okay. There we go. She and they find a problematic. Never gonna be the same. Never gonna be the way. She's never gonna be that alone She loved Don't hide I think it's so too hard Heaven is a time Heaven is a time Heaven is a time
where we are at District and we come outside because it's absolutely heaving indoors. These guys have just come off stage. We thought we might struggle to find them, but then we just thought, no, no, we'll just look for some distinctive uh, hair. Well, we don't, we look for the suede. <laughs> yes, like, exactly. We're full of cow in this interview, which is great. But we have got Go Fiasco with us right now. Guys, how was that? You've just come off. It's buzzing, wasn't it? It was, it was brilliant. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it's good playing here as well because, like, like yeah, we're all practice rooms are just upstairs. So, ah. it's... so how's it going for you boys? For anyone that doesn't know, tell us, tell us about Go Fiasco. Uh, well, I've been going for about two years now with Jamie and uh, just come back off tour. We've got had quite a few gigs in the last year or so. Uh, what else have we done? We're loud, we are young, we are drunk <laughs> and we are having a great time. Are you can touch, you can touch. Welcome back to the guy with Jay and Ali. It's a threshold special, but we're in an art gallery, so we've got to be quite quiet. It's an amazing festival. Keep <laughs> <laughs> those It's an amazing festival, threshold festival. Lots of art, beautiful yes. art like this. Uh, lots of live music, lots of banter with the bands. Yes. It's been really good. Really we're looking good. back on this programme, a full 60 minutes of the first Fezzi in Liverpool. It's Threshold Festival 2015. So we've actually just bumped into one of the artists performing here tonight at Constellations as part of Threshold Festival, Sub Blue. This isn't your first time though, is it? No, it's the second time, but I played uh, Unit 51 last year, which was a bit of a smaller venue. And uh, we're at Constellations this year, which is a bit of a bigger venue, yeah. so it should be good. Have you noticed a change in the festival from last year to this year? Hugely, like, the, the acts that are playing this year are just a lot bigger. Who and else is on the lineup with you tonight? Um, so there's Paddy Clegg, we've got Sam Bolo, Katie Alex, there's loads of people. So a lot of people from the academy that have come through from Limp last year. So yeah, it sounds good. Brilliant. So this is your first time at Threshold Festival? Yes. And what do you think of it? It's really good. Lots of different bands, different vibe. It's really fun. And who are you looking forward to seeing the most? The Roscoe's, my friend Simon Gelling is in the band, very good guy, <laughs> enjoyable, so I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, thank you Ellie. So we're catching up with people in and around the festival. Three musicians, um, Emilio Pinci, you played yesterday. Did, yeah. uh, Nina from the Soul Rays and also with Mersey Wiley's band, you played yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And also Muzz, you play with Dom Dunn, who's on later on. Yes, I do, yeah, I play with Dom and Seafoam Green and Mersey Wiley as well. Cool. Threshold Festival, are we loving it this weekend? Yeah, absolutely loving it, yeah, yeah. I think it's been... For me, it's been the best one so far. Definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely really, really good atmosphere and really good crowd. Yeah. Just loads you of on stage yeah. last night, lady, yeah. were fantastic, thank amazing. You so much. Thank you so much. I look like the crowd were just amazing, and getting pulled back on stage pretty much by all the shouting was just unreal. Now we've heard from lots of bands, we've heard lots of music, uh, but we wanted to chat to someone that's heavily involved in the Liverpool music scene as well. This is a great day, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. What a brilliant platform and outlet for grassroots music in the city. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's really, really important that the, the festivals like Threshold exist. It's yeah. really just amazing to celebrate all of that fabulous kind of grassroots collective talent on one day in a part of town like the Baltic Triangle. Yeah, brilliant. Really great. The Liverpool music scene, um, this it really benefits from this festival. That's what I love about this festival. It does give that platform to so many musicians, young and old, to yeah. get them to give them that stage to play. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and it's so important because you know we're blessed with a marvelous array of, of festivals and events and music scene in the city. But you know, there's, there's some festivals where they'll be for specific kind of niche types of music, or we'll focus and bring in artists from international artists, national artists into the city. This festival is all about say the one weekend, right? This is what is amazing about new Liverpool music, and I think that's really important. Okay, Paddy Clegg, how are you enjoying the festival? You're on later. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been going really well so far. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the artists, um, Sub Blue, Katie Alex, and all that. Yeah, really looking forward to it. And this is a great really platform for young musicians, isn't it? Threshold. Yeah, definitely. It's a really great way to, to get a bit of um, coming for around the city, get a bit get a bit known and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. Big man in the Merseyside music scene, Dave McTeague. That's How are you? <laughs> hey, I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, yeah busy it? weekend, yeah, yeah. Long weekend, yeah. It's Give us your highlights. Too many highlights to mention. Uh, last night, Paddy Steer was amazing. Um, Friday night, the launch party. I can't, yeah, it's also a bit of a blur already, to be honest. So. Tell us how good this is for Liverpool this festival. It's wonderful. I mean, my favourite thing about it is kind of some of the spaces people are using. Like, have you seen the Liverpool like kind of beer area with the 
it's like a warehouse. It's so cool. Like a few of my friends have been playing there, like last night and then today. I love just kind of checking places like that out yeah. where you never get to go normally. It's just Perfect. awesome. Well, later on, Dom Dunn and the detail. Yes, uh, I'm playing at 10:30 in Unit 51, and I'll be playing as well outside in the garden with uh, David Grady and Seafoam Green as well at seven o'clock here as well. Oh, do you know they're everywhere? I know. Now, biggest question I've got to ask: yes. Has Dominic got his hairspray? He always has his hairspray, Jay. Always. <laughs> never going to Thank you, guys. Listen, enjoy tonight. Enjoy the rest of the festival. The festival. festival has been amazing. Thank you, guys. Mm. So, what are you getting from this one then? What one? This, this one here. I'm just thinking about what I'm having to be day later. Stop. You're so an absolute hungry. nightmare, you know. So hungry. Festival Festival is good, though, isn't it? Is it is so good. And as we said earlier in the show, it's not just all about the music, it is all about the art as well. Yes, it's very arty. Oh, I didn't even realise we were in it. <laughs> Beautiful in here, some stunning stuff. Look at this. I know. Amazing. Amazing. Really, really nice pieces of art. Some really good music, lots of bands with lots of bands. Yes. Let's delve back into Threshold Festival 2015.
Okay, so many interviews, so much music on this show, but someone, she's on the guide herself very soon. We had to get her on. You've just seen her perform, Mersey Wiley. Hello. You've just stole the show, yeah. basically. Ah, thank you so much. That was the most fun I think I've ever had. You really do look like you're having yeah. fun on stage. It's impossible not to. I had eight people behind me, like, playing you know, it's so amazingly well, it's impossible not to have It that just seemed time. full of soul and full of passion, and oh, it good. was fantastic. <laughs> Tell, for anyone that doesn't know your music and doesn't, doesn't know you, just explain a bit about, about your background. Um, <laughs> well, ignore, uh, ignore the cameraman's <laughs> phone, by the way. We're at a festival, it happens. Exactly. Everyone's trying to get in touch with us, we're in demand, we're in demand. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, I write kind of soul-inspired songs, I suppose, elements of jazz and funk and, um, pop and hopefully you know all that com comes through. Yeah. Um, been gigging for about a year, yeah. um, but today was the first the full band. And gig. this is the soul for soul stage. And this is the soul for with soul stage. With your new band, how did you put yeah. the band together? What's that like? Um, well, I was playing with um, a couple of the guys, the guitarist and the keyboard already. Yeah. So um, they were they were in place. The bass player is a friend of the guitarist, and um, the drummer is just a great drummer and I knew him and yeah. friends with the guys as well yeah. and the girls I know really well um, and then my boyfriend is the saxophone player okay. and so he and he got the trumpet player in as well so, so yeah oh you know everyone uh, yeah great. yeah it's Let's a really nice one you know very well um, who we all know very well in this city is your dad Pete yeah Wiley. yeah um, Oh, he's a legend. He, yeah. <laughs> so has he has he kind of thought like my daughter's going to be a musician or, or what? How did that come about? Oh no, and you know it was never it was definitely never premeditated or anything like that. Obviously, like growing up was always around loads of music, and he definitely introduced me to every you know all of my first musical experiences. Took me to see Blondie when I was three. And Amazing. Yeah. So it's definitely it's definitely. Um, and he's is, a big fan. Is, is he a proud father? Such I bet a he is. I bet he's he here is. tonight as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's we here. We need to try and find him. I don't know where he is. Yeah. He'll be at the bar. He'll, He'll be somewhere. He'll, He'll be, be at somewhere. the bar. Yeah. But talking about the dad is no, like a Scouse icon and stuff. But yeah. you do not sound Scouse. No, I'm not. I, I grew up in London originally, uh, but spent so much of my time up here because my dad was always up here, and my grandparents, and my cousins, and everything. Um, so all my holidays and everything were up here, and then I lived in Australia between the ages of 11 and 20, so that's had quite an influence yeah. okay. on the accent. There's still a bit of Scouse there. There's a little bit, there's a little bit there. Little there. Little Depending little on who I'm around as well, it yeah. starts to sneak yeah. out. <laughs> well listen, we're going to get you on the guide in the next so few weeks. We're really yeah, excited really about excited this, so you're going to perform for us. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I think we play celebrity Scouse. We have to, we have to. I want to hear a Scouse accent. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you for, for chatting to us. Thank you so much for having me. What an Threshold Festival. Ah, Threshold. Wiley on BT. TV's the kind. How good was that? Amazing, brilliant stuff, and plenty more where they came from because so we have got access to all areas yeah. for Threshold Festival at the Baltic Triangle. So we're taking you backstage, yes. we're meeting the bands, we're getting lots of live music and having lots of bands. There's some characters here, isn't there? There are some characters, and we did like to chat to all of them, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> we got some more on? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're outside at the beautiful Constellations, and that's not actually where you performed early. You performed at the Baltic Social, didn't you? We did, yeah. Well, yeah. you say we, because David is the lead singer of the Ragamuffins. Indeed. But you sacked off your band for this one, didn't well, you? Well, it was just me and Flora, our trumpet player. I mean, I kind of sometimes think that I should sack him off because <laughs> he's just too handsome. He's just far too Taking handsome. Taking the limelight too much. Exactly, you know. So he's... why weren't the band with you today? Well, we got asked to do the acoustic stage, and with it being quite a small stage, yeah. and there being six of us, and, you know, I mean... You no, just didn't want to take up the basically, basically. You wanted more room to when you get in, When you get in free pizza as part, <laughs> as part of your payment for the gig, you know, you're going to be you're gonna be taking up a little bit more room than normal. You're talking about pizza because uh, one of the songs, that, one of my favourite songs from you guys is it Fish and Chips, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good. But that's yeah. from kind of like old material now, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Because last time I spoke to you, you were doing all that, but now you've moved on and you're recording new yeah, stuff. Yeah, we've got a, a new album coming out soon, as yet untitled. So we're kind of oh. looking through the working title list. I think a great name would be Ellie. Just, just putting just it out there. The ragamuffins, kind of open bracket, Ellie, yeah, close yeah. bracket, yeah. Are you okay with that? I, I, Put I that in the mix, just, yeah, just, 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 just roll with it. I'll add it, it. I'll add it to the working <laughs> title list. So we are at Threshold Festival, as you know, lots of live music and chatting with lots of the bands performing. These guys have just been at District Filter Distortion, Wesley and Phil. How are we doing, boys? We're doing great, yeah. yeah. Brilliant, yeah. From off stage, uh, really, good, uh, really good reception, wasn't it? Oh, really yeah, good. excellent, yeah. yeah. Really enjoyed Probably it. one of the busiest gigs that we've seen today, so you had the crowd there. That must make you, must make you buzz while you're on stage. Well, yeah, well, it was one of those festivals that we, we didn't have to invite any friends. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, mum wasn't in the audience yeah. for once. Might be the biggest critic. But um, yeah, so 
you know, there was, nice a, there was a good crowd you must have heard about us in Everyone advance. Everyone dancing, yeah, which is always nice. Yeah, got a few dancing at the front, which Wanna is nice. There was, there was a few, there was a few people dressed up dancing at the front, which I noticed, which we'll, we'll tweet some photos of, which was amazing. Must be amazing to see from stage to see yeah. all the madness of threshold unfolding in front of you. I can't take any. Uh, well, it's one of them, isn't it? What? When the crowd responds to your music, it makes you respond back and you play better and you enjoy it more and you give you give that little bit more. If you're playing to like... They were dancing, so we were dancing. Yeah, so we were dancing as well. Yeah. Yeah. How are you finding Threshold? I love it, yeah. It's really, yeah. really chilled, really... I uh, just love the fact that it's all around here and you can just walk around. It's very, yeah, it's a like different it. experience from everything we had before. We were saying earlier about the fact that it's daytime and we're in, we're in a, like a cafe, it's, bar, performing. We've been wandering around yesterday a few different... Um, Bollock Social as well for a few bevies before yeah. and Wicked. Now let's talk about you and your music because your debut album came out in January, didn't it? And it's EP, had a yeah. really re EP and it had a really good reaction, hasn't it? Yes. Tell us about your uh, your EP. Uh, well, it was um, it was recorded last the end back end of last summer and we released it in the Blade Factory just around the court, which yeah. is also another venue for Fresh On as well. Right. <laughs> and that, that was sold out and we yeah we've not looked not look back. Okay, so welcome back to the Guide A Threshold Festival special on Bay TV Liverpool with me and Ellie. Uh, it's day number three, it's Sunday, and we're here at Unit 51 as Mersey Wales Sound Station are taking over this venue and giving us six of their favourite bands from the festival. One of them um, is Vince. How are you guys? Good, mate. How, how are you? How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. Not too bad. Yeah. It's been a cracking weekend. So you performed last night at the Observatory, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Been really good. Good gig? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Really good. It was a great time. It was a so many good bands, some bands that I just haven't heard from before, just from Manchester, it was good, good collaboration with bands. And this is a great platform, Pete, isn't it, for, for local bands, for you know, starting out, you guys have been together a couple of years, but this is a great yeah. platform, isn't it? No, 100%, yeah, this, I think this is our first time at Threshold, and it's just, as, as Ollie said, there's so many bands that we've never heard before, and we've just had a chance to see them, and it, like, Liverpool's got so much talent, it's, um, and it's just, you just rarely get to see so much at one festival, yeah. if you know what I mean, yeah? It's brilliant. The song's called Bully.
for the Mersey Rail Sound Station oh, podcast sorry. stage here at Threshold Festival so and I am delighted to be joined by Jess or Scarlett, stage name, how we work on that one, <laughs> um, because it's another female artist. We love having female artists on the show and you are not a stranger to the limelight, are you? Former member of the Thespians, you've now moved on and put Scarlett together. So tell us about Scarlett, all the ideas behind it and how you put it together. Basically, I just came up with like, I decided to write bedroom demos, like an album worth of bedroom demos and then um, just find musicians that were interested in what I wanted to do, which was make like a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> make loads of feelful noise. And then um, two lads from my old uni, they were up for it. Yeah. Um, Ryan Lee used to be in High Violet, he was up for it. And Amazing band. Kind of, yeah. yeah, they were really good. Yeah, yeah. They just like filtered in and it just kind of worked really surprisingly Straight well. Straight off the bat, it was really like, this is the right fit, isn't yeah. it? Tell us about the feel because your, your, your debut EP with the band's about to launch. Yeah. Tell us about the feel for that EP. Um, it's all quite dark and, and dismal, <laughs> really, but with like an upbeat theme. Like the music's yeah. upbeat, but my lyrics are just doomy. <laughs> and in fact, your, your uh, single with the band, anyway, yeah. is out this Monday, Easter Monday. Yeah. Tell us about the single. What's the, the idea behind that? It's about not needing anybody, finding yourself which is what I've been doing the last year. I've discovered that I don't need um, men, managers, anything Love like that. that. Female empowerment. All I need is myself, and I can do whatever I want to do, whatever I put my mind Brilliant. on. And you have your uh, EP launch party, which is going to be out the 30th of April at Leaf on Bold Street. Yep. So everyone that wants to get down can come down to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just a quick one as well, because it's Threshold Festival, and we're seeing lots of artists. And there are amazing female artists in Liverpool. Who would be your top pick at the moment, female artist wise? Natalie McCool. Natalie McCool. Cool. We love now on this show, so she is definitely one for us to keep watching. Well, we will uh, see you very soon. Good luck with the uh, EP launch. Uh, thank you for joining us. Helps me let go, burn out inside, and I can see why dark daylight. How come I can't remember a thing but you, a thing but what we were? Stargazers are dead, and the moon was too tired to play with your. 
What an amazing weekend it's been at Threshold Festival. Hope you've enjoyed this hour-long special on the guide. It's been good, hasn't it? It's, it's been, been so good. I'm feeling a bit windswept. Yes. We've been running around the city all weekend, but it was to bring you all of the highlights from the incredible festival. It's been great. Can't wait for 2016. Hopefully you will be there. Yeah. Um, what's been your highlights? For me, Ellen and Ellie, only 15 incredible artists and Vince. Were amazing, were yeah. yeah, really cool. What about mine. you? Mersey Wiley was yes. pretty good. One to watch there. Filter Distortion, fantastic Brilliant as well. Stuff, yeah. So it's been Threshold 2015. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, follow us on Twitter at the Guide Bay TV for all the backstage pics and all the goss. Uh, and we're back next week, 8:30 Thursday. Who's on yes. the show? Oh, we have got so much music. We've got Emilio Pinchy and we've got Rosenblum, real talents coming from the city. As well as that, Mickey Stark is yeah. going to be with us. So is Paul Broughton talking about their new World Court show. And Kim Marsh plays celebrity scouser from all of us at Threshold Festival. It's been fun. It's been so much fun. Can we go and have a pint? Let's do it. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you next Thursday, 8.30pm on Bay TV.